Welcome back. Now, part two of Maria's special exclusive interview with the Archbishop of New York, Cardinal Timothy Dolan. She spoke with his eminence about the migrant crisis in his city and how Catholic Charities helps those in need. Cardinal Dolan, let me ask you about what's going on here in New York. We talk all the time on this program about what's going on with immigration. Yeah. Mayor Glad Adams has complained. The city it. is absolutely overwhelmed. I know the Catholic Charities do not take a side. You're helping people. Thank you. Uh, regardless, trying best. you're uh -huh. trying your best to help people. And for that, uh, it's, it's just wonderful. And, and I, I know the world thanks you. I hope so. But for America, eight to 10 million people, new people coming here. I mean, we're overwhelmed and people are questioning why yeah. the administration is not acknowledging an open border. You've reached out to President Biden, haven't you? And those are very legitimate questions. So sometimes the Catholic Church gets car caricatured as saying, oh, the church is saying, bring, in, bring them all in, bring them all in. No, the church believes in safe, secure borders. The church believes we need a very sane, prudent, uh, uh, workable uh, uh, approach to immigration. Uh, and we don't. So I don't blame anybody for saying, we got a big mess here. This isn't working. There is a political, economic safety side to this, which I think we can debate, and which I think we need to even uh, uh, talk about and be loud about. If you And I am too. I'm, I criticize our policy. But we also need to say, okay, that having been said, that this needs fixing and healing, we also have the imperative of caring uh, for those who are in need. Because you meet some of these immigrants and refugees, I do all the time. They didn't quite know what they were getting into. They just heard these whispers in the countries where they come from that are riddled with uh, narcs and gangs and violence and oppression and tyranny. And they hear a whisper that the United States will welcome us. And they come. Now, these, these people are kind of victims as well of a broken, sloppy, unfair system. But we, we do need to reach out to them and to love them. Remember the story? The poor Joseph with Mary, right ready to give birth to the Savior of the world. And the innkeeper said, sorry, sir, no room. Now, we often malign him as kind of being mean. But he did say, um, he did say, sir, I'm sorry we don't have any room, but at least there's kind of a safe, warm spot right outside in the manger. And why don't you and your wife go there? You'd sure be welcome. And that, that kind of tenderness, that wasn't the best solution, was it? The best solution would have been, yeah, sure, come on in. We happen to have a, we happen to have a hot tub and a wine bar and a, a guest suite here that you and your wife can stay in. No, but he did the best he could, and I think that's what we're trying to do. Let's do the best in a broken situation to correct the inequities, but also trying our best tenderly and compassionately to care for the people whom we got. Mm. What do you see as the most important things that those people need? I know that the Catholic Charities have been very supportive in terms of mm -hmm. helping these newcomers yeah. live here and get ready for court dates in yeah. a few years. Yeah. What do they need? I'll tell you what, what I hear all the time when I go down, I walk down the block to the Roosevelt Hotel, okay, and when I visit with them, I sit with them, my Spanish isn't that good, but you can right. understand. What's your perspective on They will on always that? ask the same three things. They'll always say, Padre, can you find me a job? Can you get me a little house in which to stay, and can you get my kids into school? Isn't that touching? Isn't that touching? And Catholic Charities, and a lot of others, by the way, we sure couldn't do it by ourselves, are trying our best to do it. Our city has risen to the occasion, yeah. um, as New York always had. You've heard me quote, when I first got here, Mayor Koch, remember him? So Mayor Koch says, hey, your eminence. He said, when the immigrants came to this city, there were two women that welcomed them, the Statue of Liberty and Mother Church. And I was so happy to hear him say that. Again, we're not alone. We're, we're working with other churches. We're working with men and women of no religion whatsoever and welcoming them. But th this is our duty. This is a duty for us. And it's a, it's a special duty that kind of rises to the top at Christmas time. So the whole world 
even when they disagree on immigration and stuff, kind of knows deep down, this is the time of year when we try to be selfless. Sometimes people, Maria, are always baiting me and they'll say, don't you get ticked off? There's so much buying and so much consumerism and everybody's at the store. And I say, would you remember one thing? They're buying for other people. They're buying gifts to give to other people. And that is a beautiful thing. Pope St. John Paul II, he used to speak about the law of the gift. And he said, we are at our best as human beings. We are acting most in conformity to, to the way that God made us when we give what's best in ourselves away to another with love, the law of the gift. God the Father did that in giving us his son at Christmas. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.